Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Shadow to Row. How be you? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing really, really swell out there. I really, really do. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Really, really do. Took some days off. It was my birthday. Yes. I'm officially um wiser. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, hello. A piece of the sage. This is Dragon's Blood Sage, if you guys don't know. Um, if you do want to pick up some, um, I do have this on my site, livingshadow.me. Links in the description box below. Um, also on my Etsy shop, if you prefer to use Etsy over my site, whichever one works for you. You know, hey, whichever one works for you. But this is very, very good, um, especially for this time. And this veil is thin. We're gonna do a collective reading today. Uh -huh. I wanna see what's going on. I wanna see what's going on. I wanna see what's going on in the supernatural. Uh -huh. <laughs> see what's going on. See what's going on. See what's going on. Let's right, see. And we got the devil at the bottom of the deck and the five of wands at the top of the deck. Or excuse me, five of bones. Let me tell you something right there. Okay, what's going on? People, let's get it cracking. Ooh, what's this not a pentacles? Okay, so I'm just gonna take a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, if you all have not um ever looked in the description box below, I do implore you to look now, like the video, and leave a comment, please. Especially if you are new. To say hi, I want to say hi. How are you guys doing? See my cats in the background saying hi. Mercury. Oh, okay, well, never mind. He said no, that's not. <laughs> what we got going on? Oh, death. Mm, that's a death card, y'all. That's a death card. Okay, so the spirits are speaking. You hear all that? The spirits are speaking. What we got? What we got? What we got? King of Bones in the reverse. Seven of Bones in the reverse. Someone is no longer um, hiding something or being defensive towards something. <laughs> Have you accepted? You know, Bones is very, very magical. It's the magical, um, sweet wands, all that, you know. It's a certain... It's like you, you, you're surrendering. It's, only, it's like surrendering to something. There's a surrender here. What is going on? Give me some more cards. Tell me the story. I don't know the story of the glory. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's pretty. These cards are not upside down. They show popping in. We have the devil. Oh, see? Mm-hmm. What is this? Do you want me to hold the card? Okay. We have the Magician in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. And three of, excuse me, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I'm learning some things here. We get this page of pentacles in reverse, justice in reverse, and this two of wands in reverse. Okay, so, so there's something toxic here, okay, that is fucking with something. They're, they're causing out of burdens for somebody. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hi, Mark Mark. He came up now. Oh, let me see here. Is there some offer making some? It's either an offer or... Somebody's unsure about something?
Because we got the seven of swords here on this side. I feel like someone's unsure about something. Me, are you guys unsure about what's what's who's unsure about something? It's like someone's unsure about an offer, if an offer is balanced, or if they're doing the right thing by doing something. Okay, so what we got here. Is that telling me this is from? Mm -hmm. okay. So what we got, we got the Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the Empress. Oh, there's a conversation. Okay, it's a conversation, and someone's afraid to have this conversation, but this conversation needs to be had. But, mm-hmm. Because with the Six of Swords, I don't know if you guys have ever known, like, what Six, like, six of Swords, think about the Five of Swords being the conflict, right? And then you talk to somebody. You can either vent to somebody or you talk to somebody, you get, a, like, a different perspective, get a different idea of what it is. That's what the Six of Swords comes along at, right? Right. Now, the Seven of Swords is when, it, if it's deceptive or if you get some deceptive, you know, feedback, but it's just having that conversation. So, I don't know who needs to talk to whom here in this particular case. But there needs to be a conversation had. Um, judging by this King of Wands in reverse, it seems like it may need to come from the masculine energy. But, because um, especially especially how she looking like, All right, is you really going to talk to me? <laughs> it may be that, but um, it could be something that uh, the Empress isn't speaking as well because this is in, in reverse coming from her. So let me see what this is. Knight of Swords, Knight of Blades in the reverse. We got four swords and we have the Page of Cups. Oh. Is this someone's okay, so this is this is like ADHD energy to me, that Knight of Swords. So this is like someone's like saying, I'm sorry for keeping you awake. Or like sorry for like keeping you up, or like sorry for not letting you rest, or like, it's like that type of thing. We got this eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so someone may have tried to, do, like, you know, like, people go to work or right or whatever. Like, you, someone may have tried to, like, do that. Like, I know even the other week, we didn't, like, we didn't really try to do that on purpose. But I, I one of my friends missed our job was we were trying to celebrate my birthday. They like, missed part of it, but she went to the other one. But it's, it's like that type of energy. Like, someone may have tried to, like, do something and keep you you know, from, uh, like, keep you from resting. Keep you from resting. Whatever it is. It's like you, you couldn't rest. Whether it was physically rest, mentally rest, spiritually rest. It was like there was some, there was some form of rest you weren't able to have. This person kept you up. It's that ADHD energy. No offense to ADHD people or anything like that. But it's that hyper energy that, like, I can't sleep. I gotta be doing something. 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 It's that. Okay, what else we got here? So that King of Wands, I'm telling you, is this Emperor you need to talk to. Uh, King of Bones right here that came up. That's, you know, that devilish energy. Like, I don't know what's going on here for this. We're gonna find out here. It's just a collective one, so we're just gonna keep it going. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Fools. Ooh. So did someone try to start over and invest in something with someone else or with something else? In the East? Let's see what this is. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Strength. Ooh. Maybe you try to draw someone try to draw their strength from somewhere else. We have three of wands, ace of pentacles in reverse, and we have the nine of cups. Ooh, okay, so someone tried to manifest something out of energy they don't um belong using. That's basically what I'm understanding here. Okay, so for instance, say like, I don't know. How to, how to put this, like, there's certain things that don't work well with each other. So, say you're trying to get a, 
it's, it's, it's that, like, say you're trying to get, I don't know, like, say you're trying to get the sage stick, right? And you, you want to get the sage stick, but you go and do, so, like, you go about it with the wrong energy. I know this is not the best example, because I can't think of, like, because this is, like, a spiritual thing here. Someone was trying to get something, and they're use, trying to use an energy that doesn't, work well with what it is they're trying to get or work well with who it is they're trying to get it from. Especially if you're doing it with, uh, if you're trying to use your ancestors, okay, so this could be, like I said, the spirits are speaking. So this could be you were trying to like, get your ancestors to do something or to, yeah, it's something here, hold on. Because whatever it is, okay, it's not letting some, like, you know, it was a wish for some to not go forward. That's what it feels like. Whatever you were trying to get them to do is like to stop somebody for something or. Okay, so what is this? In the collective here, we got Ace of Swords or Ace of Blades. So that's the truth. Someone was trying to stop someone from something with the energy. But it's like, okay, so I did hear a while ago that someone maybe was trying to use like someone's own energy to stop them. Like, how are you going to use my own energy against me? The fuck? Bye. No. So what else is coming out here? Collective. What's going on? Spirits of speaking. What we got? We got the four of wands in reverse and the... Four of Cups. Okay, so double force here. Someone isn't at peace, though. They're bored. King, oh, excuse me. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's trying to stunt somebody emotionally. This could be a this could be a mothering energy. It's trying to get somebody emotionally stunted. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is what this okay, so I, this is this might end up on my this might end up me going into the podcast. So um if that does happen, click the link in the description box below. Check out all my stuff. I do have a podcast, okay? It's called the Shadowcast. Um, this to me here feels like, you know how they'll say like an empty nest mother type energy, right? This to me feels like a, mo a mother who may be trying to stunt their son. Not in a bad way, but it, it's in a like natural, like feminine way, like females in general, okay? The feminine energy in general tends to, and this may be the conversation I need to have to the masculine energy, feminine energy tends to, um, I don't want to say, they don't, they, it's not the, it's not an emasculation. It, it's, it's that they tell, it's like, they invalidate um, a man's feelings lots of times, which emotionally stunts them because they're not sure how to feel because every time they feel something, uh, uh, you know, women usually tell them to either not feel it or that they don't feel it or they shouldn't feel that way or trying to, they really try to control feelings. Women are very, very emotionally manipulative and they feel like, no offense, but like that is the thing. So I feel like um, with these two cards here, especially, it's like there's someone doesn't feel at peace here because they're not really sure how to I guess show him. I don't. I don't want to say like show emotions, but they don't know how to do stuff because they feel emotionally stunted. They feel like they haven't emotionally grown because they were either like told not to feel something or can't feel something or to hold back something or this is that. And it's it's all. It's like always. You know, it, it's like always every time this male or this masculine energy felt something. It seemed like that was always the problem, was them feeling something. This could have came from, you know, that's what that lack. Okay, this five of pentacles, this could be an emotional lack. 
with that five of cups that came out earlier. But this could be like, I don't know how to say it. Like a lack of knowing how to not suppress something. Like how do you not suppress it if your first instinct is to suppress? Spirits are talking, spirits are talking. Come on with it, come on with it. Spirits are talking. How do you not suppress if your, if, if your first instinct is to suppress? We have nine of swords. Okay, so this could be reflection. This could be going through this reflection. This is also kind of pain. Yeah, we have the high priestess here. So... This is self-reflection and going through pain at the same time, but not in a not a horrible pain, but in that you're gonna have to acknowledge it, like when it happens, or maybe even acknowledge that it it can happen before it happens. Does that make sense? Like, don't expect for the worst to happen, but from this, I'm gathering, don't like. Be open to the possibility of what this thing, of this thing being different than what you expect. So that if it is, it's not horrible. So that you can express yourself in a way, or you have a way that like, you know how to express yourself if it were to happen. Is that like emotional preparedness? Is, is that like a word? I don't know if that's saying emotional preparedness. With this high priestess here, using your intuition. Because that's the thing. Okay, so here's the thing is that people... Emotions and intuition are very, very linked. That gut feeling, that gut intuition, things like that. Women tend to complain about men, in a in a sense, doing things. Like, um, they do say that women mature faster than men, but this is part of the reason why. is because they won't allow men to emotionally mature at, at, a, at a fast rate because they're, emo they're constantly emotionally invalidate, invalidating them. Ooh. If I can speak the words. Oh my goodness. Mercury retrograde shadow period, y'all. It's over in a couple days. So no more of that. Um, I did look up. We got some other things coming. Okay. Um, November is going to be kind of nice. And, uh, you know, all the way. We got all the way to 2022. Y'all, all the way to 2022. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So um, a lot of people are worried about mental health. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff for spiritual health over here. Okay. So keep it tuned. Keep it tuned. Keep it tuned. We got the nine of wands. And we got... Excuse me, not nine of wands. Nine of pentacles. Ooh. We have the moon and the tower here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you... I'm sorry. Spirit speaking, spirit speaking. Okay, so... Gabriel Uriel, we got... Some, some, something is going to, something that you don't know about is going to kind of shock you. With this nine of pentacles in reverse, you're not alone. You may have already known that, but you're going to start seeing or feeling or whatever, you know, way works best for you, I guess. Seeing something, feeling something. You see the cat, she never jumped over that before. Okay. So, uh, you're not alone out here. Not alone out here. Not in these spiritual streets. Okay, what we got going on next? What we got going on next? Anything else we need to know? Do I switch? Another that. Anything else we need to know from the supernatural roll? Anything else we need to know? Let me shout out to roll. Let me shout out to roll. Judgment in Five of Swords. Okay. And people, it's, it's, it's a hard time reading somebody or a hard time judging somebody or having a hard time um maybe even understanding somebody because this judgment a lot of times this judgment is a deep understanding card right you want to go like especially if you're talking about judgment as in going within and judging yourself or trying to understand yourself someone may have, may have a hard time with like doing like mental reflection or with judging themselves like and i don't mean to be like an asshole, like an asshole about it but sometimes or someone maybe feel like they have bad judgment when they don't, but it's because they feel emotionally stunted from before. Like they grew up, so they may feel like they have bad judgment on things when they don't. 
but they, they or they feel like they don't follow their intuition or they confuse their intuition. It's something along those lines. I mean, take it how it fits for you, but I feel like there's someone here who may think that they're wrong about stuff, but they're really not that, they're really not wrong about, right? Like, I know if I'm doing this, this reading, personally, myself, on this channel, you see it right here. Hello. Hi, everybody. Devin there. Um, the living shadow. Um, the people, like, not everybody who watches this is going to resonate with it. I don't have that many people watching this so far. So, whatever. But not everybody is going to, is going to. But the person who it does, it will help. And I feel like right here, this is somebody who maybe has a, has a hard time seeing that. Someone has a real hard time. Because I'm, I'm getting drawn to the eyes on this card. I know I've been I trying to hold up all these cards for you. I kind of go real quick and I flip through them. But someone feels like, I don't know. Maybe this is your spirit's. Is this part of your intuition as well? Okay. Part of the intuition as well? So I just say the Spirit is speaking. They may have a hard time trying to decide some things for you. Yeah, we have the Hierophant and the Page of Blades, Page of Swords. So this is basically saying God is looking down and is having a hard time trying to decide some things or trying to figure out... Really, you? Or like creation? In a sense, mm -hmm. we got Hermit, Universe, the Lovers, and the Eight of Swords, along with the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like what's the right way to not be alone? Like, what's the healthy way to be, like, in public or or with somebody? Or, you know, like a healthy partnership type energy? I'm kind of getting that. Like, like a healthy partnership. Okay. 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 Let me switch decks here. Yeah. Let me switch decks here. Let me get the psychic tarot. Let me get the psychic tarot. Oh, balance. Best card out. That's nice. Okay. How do we get an equal partnership? What are you looking for here? Okay. Balance pop back out again. Love begins in sacrifice. Number 12. That sacrifice is like that, man, that hangman energy. Okay, so someone's going to sacrifice something here. Transformation, suffering in silence. Number 9. That's that Nine of Swords energy again. That's suffering in silence. So this is what uh, I was talking about before. With that, like, you got to say something. But this is, this is that automatic gut reaction, right? So it's how to... May have to, so you're going to have to transform something here. That may be the thing we have to transform. And um, I'm sure for everybody who is resonating with having that issue of suppressing their emotions before they, uh, you know, or like naturally having a, a natural, like naturally suppressing emotions. I feel like this is going to be the big change that's coming up here is that we're not going to be, it's not going to feel natural to suppress them. It's going to, you know, we're going to, you know, air them out or whatever. And it's gonna, you gotta find people who, I guess, part, like when I'm seeing this lovers, I'm seeing partnerships, right? I'm not necessarily getting that this person, uh, you know, best friend, business partner, whatever. This is giving me like seventh house energy though, like partnership energy. Like just people who you're gonna have in your life, in your circle. And you're not going to be suffering in silence. Like, you'll be able to, like, talk to these people. Whoever these people are, like, you're going to be able to talk to these people. Like, you're going to feel who the people are you're going to be able to talk to. Who can really, like, be yourself around. And you're not going to be stuck. 
feeling as alone as, you know, you've been feeling. So I guess this hermit's in reverse. Like, you able to come out of your shell, able to come out, um, able to talk to people, able to be around people, able to, like, like work with people, partner with people. That's definitely the energy I'm getting. No, it's like not suffering in silence. Being able to speak out against something. I feel like you need to, I feel like there's something you want to speak out against. Could be a person, could be your mother. Um, maybe trying to speak out against, you know. A lot of us, you know, lots of times I what I've come to understand is that um especially for masculine energy. I will say that I think, or yeah, more like I think when I, when I'm looking at stuff, like it's like you would you would think that women know because they claim to be so intuitive how much they stunt men and then blame them for how much they stunt them, but at the same time, they don't want to hear it if you explain that. And I feel like that's what this is. This someone's going to be standing up about that as well, like. And it's not like it. I don't feel like it's an ego hurt thing. It, it, you know, the thing about this is that with with this, with this masculine energy, this emperor energy that I'm feeling here, but especially with this lover's card, and maybe this is the conversation you'll need to have as well. There's a deep energy of just constantly feeling like you're being undermined. But in a emotional space, and then calling it like it being called ego, does that make sense? Like, oh, you just don't want to admit you're wrong. You're blah blah blah. It's like no, nah, like. It, but if I am admitting I'm wrong, then you slam me. But if I don't admit that I'm wrong, then it's like you know everything I do is wrong type energy. It, it's that creeping back up. But like in an emotional space, I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain it because I'm. If y'all know, y'all know. But some, I said earlier, something feels like something isn't fair. Yeah, crown chakra, okay. The connection is real, okay. We're out here connected, okay, into the world, so. Yeah, mental conflict is leaving. And then we have triumphant success here, okay. What's this triumphant success? This may be a successful conversation. This may be some truth being revealed here. Ooh. We have choose wisely in the reverse. And foundation and achievements, number four. Okay, so definitely foundational changes. Okay, I heard something there too. Financial and material changes, number five at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you're gonna have some decisions to make. Decisions, 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 okay. Okay, let me get this self-care oracle and we're gonna close out this reading, everybody. Collective, love the paper, I felt. Assassins, don't you know we love you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get the self care, self care, self care. This feel like it's gonna be a big change. Um, stay tuned for Halloween. Now, um, you, the day before Halloween, Mars is moving into, I believe, Scorpio. Either Scorpio or Sagittarius. Gotta look it up. But Mars is moving, so. Be prepared, especially for that veil. Halloween, y'all know the time, y'all know the time, y'all know the time, and you know the rhyme. Burning bowl ritual, burning bowl ritual. Okay, may want to burn some things, especially during this time. Um, you know, you know how they say like, you know, write a letter to somebody and burn it, that type of thing. It's that, it's that same thing. Okay, you would be making this stuff seem so evil. It's the same thing. You know, like you can write a, a letter to your boss or to your or an email or whatever. And you don't send it. It's the same thing. Just write this letter and then burn it. 
and get your feelings out, okay? Whatever you gotta do, especially if it helps you not suppress it, you know? If you're not the person who wants to talk, there's sex, sweet treat, pleasure, hydrate, and dream journal, okay? So you may need to write your dreams. This also can be some stuff. Now, if you, um, I'm hoping y'all should know your own temptations and your own triggers. And yeah, if you know that you got some issues with overindulging in these particular areas, that you don't overindulge in those particular areas because we're trying to work on not doing that. Mm-hmm. Because there's some people out here. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> But yes, write your dreams. Um, I'm telling you, it's easier for um, them to come in your dreams, or it's, I shouldn't say easier, but it's easy is um, a way for them to, to speak to you in your dreams. So if you are dreaming something weird or dreaming something that you feel the need to um, write down or you feel some kind of lingering feeling afterward, please do write it down or please do speak it out, record it some kind of way. You know, make sure that you capture whatever the message is that they're trying to um, um, send to you at that time. But yeah, I do want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the archive, the Assassin Archive. I really want to thank you for that. And so, uh, this is like, that's really nice. Thank you. Um, if you do want, if you, you know, if you are down there, anybody down there, please do click the link in the description. Do you want to subscribe to all my extendants are up there? And anything, um, extra videos that are on YouTube are on the Assassin Archives. So please do check that out. Okay, okay, okay. I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling everybody, Live and Shout to Row. So sharing the video, sharing the video, sharing the video, share the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope y'all stay blessed out there. Assassination. Bye.